Good luck. All right. So what opening shall we play today? I'm feeling the uh, Gokigan Central Rook thing. Seems kind of fun. Now, they've not pushed the pawn in front of their rook. So for me to get central foul rook, I'll need to play this here right now. Um, that does not look right. Um, but it's okay, I think. Wow, move by move, I'm getting more questions about what should be going on here. This is interesting. Uh, let's block this diagonal before things get too crazy. So I do have a target on the right side of the board, so my silver can aim at that. If they do push on this file, my bishop can hold off the rook. So let's get this moving. And use this to hold off the pawn. What confuses me is the timing of moving my king. So usually I move my king first and then never find time to move the silver. This time, we're going to try things a bit differently. And I forget which opponent it was. I, I don't think it was this one. No. Some other opponent had played this uh, sixth foul pawn and tried to move their silver up and got confused. And I, with them, got confused and just allowed terrible things to happen in my position. Um, but no, I think this is a reasonable way to play this position. Um, so, this is where things begin to get dicey. I think this is still the move. And this goes to the left, and then I can push the edge pawn, and I'm not sure what happens. But also, maybe I need to move this gold. Right, so here, I think if I push, this is what I was looking at this morning. So if I push this pawn, they push this, I push again, they take, and my bishop retreats, their silver retreats. Uh, I, I don't have that quite right. If I push this, they push that, I take, they take, I move again. I still don't have this right. What's up with this position? Um, something's up here. Uh, sure, this is asking me if I want to delete my previous Windows version to free up disk space. Why not? Um, so, I wonder... Do I want to play my rook to the third file now? Is that what's appropriate? I'm so confused. I think this is the way to hold this side of the board together. And if not, we'll know, we'll know what's going on very soon if this isn't correct. Um, but I think it's fine. Yeah, I think maybe I've misplayed something. Maybe I'm supposed to have this pawn up a rank or two. 
um, before that hits. That way if they push this, I could push on their silver, and they could win my bishop, and I could promote. Here I don't get anything. Um, so maybe I've misplayed everything here. But I'm confused exactly how this breakthrough works. Even looking at it from here, I don't see what's happening next. Now if I push in the center, this center pawn is still fragile. Um, yeah, if they're hitting my bishop, I want to move my bishop, so... Um, It's complicated. Wait, if we exchange bishops, the bishop drop here to pin my gold. Uh, my king moves. Then they pawn drop, my gold moves again, and then they start promoting everything. So that's still unwise. Wait, what's going to defend this pawn? Nothing can immediately defend this other than the king, and you're not going to use the king to defend that. So I think I'll take my chances. Um, so I'm going to hit this pawn and the pawn behind it. Also, I'm intending to push the center pawn, and so I'm going to try to strike on both sides of this king. I do find this exciting, and they did have to play this edge pawn. They did have to spend a move on that, so my bishop doesn't have some other way into their side of the board. But um, yeah, so. I'm allowing their rook and their silver and everything over here to promote as I start this very swift attack, um, which might be doomed, but let's be optimistic for once. So if they drop a pawn on the bishop's head, what do I do? I have no idea. I could run away to the right here, try to put up a fight on this focus point. Actually, yeah, running this way and then later pushing the center pawn and moving my bishop to the, the other long diagonal could be useful. There is an ulterior motive in me playing this super aggressive line. And that's that um, I would like, <laughs> for better or worse, um, I, I'm aiming for a decisive game in the opening. Um, just as a practical matter, there will be tomorrow morning another Shogi Sunday. So tonight, uh, I'll see what I can do to can wrap up this game. So, uh, yeah, for practical reasons, it's good for me to have this kind of crazy game going on. Although it is kind of my style to play crazy stuff anyway. Just not usually with intent. Usually I'm kind of forced into it. Uh, here this is more intentional, that maybe there was some way I could have de-escalated this pressure. Although I didn't see it. So I think he's debating whether he wants to spend a move attacking or trying to defend somehow.
Yeah, I thought this would be the next move. So if I go back to the left, I don't think I'm holding that very long at all. They push the Rook Pawn, and I'm kind of forced to take, and they take back with the Silver, and everything kind of immediately collapses, so I have to retreat this direction. Such that when things collapse, at least my bishop's not in the middle of all of it. Alright, they complete the boat. This is the boat castle. Um, hmm. Yeah, I am quite confused by my own play. So my king is in an extremely vulnerable spot. Let's deal with that right now. It's now in a very slightly less vulnerable spot. But this is still not very bright on my part. I have not decided if I'm pushing the center pawn just yet. Uh, I'm more waiting to see if they're going to push their rook pawn. And at which point uh, I acknowledge that all this is collapsing. But okay. So yeah, they're now intending to try to defend this, I guess. Um, not sure. So they don't have a pawn in hand. Um, I'm just debating, do I push the center pawn? Which looks absolutely crazy and possibly is, but might be very good. Or do I play something else somewhat aggressive? Like I could bring the bishop out and they have to move their rook or something and I've not gotten anywhere. Um, if I allow their silver to block their bishop, that would seem to just favor me. Um, well, moving the bishop here has a drawback that I can't move the rook up and over. Not that the rook up and over works right now, but... In some positions it might. This is so suspect. Ah, this is so suspicious. I think I should just take this pawn. Like, this is... Taking the pawn only has advantages, and I'm not seeing any disadvantages. I do want to castle my king, but there's no time for that. I need to make time for it, but like his attack is so swift. Oh. Wow, he's actually targeting this pawn. That, um, maybe this is effective. Yeah, that's confusing as everything can possibly be. 
Um, this does defend the point right next to their king. So that makes a lot of sense from that perspective. I guess I need to play this aggressive move. So when this pawn moves or is captured, crazy stuff's going to happen. And yes, this does deny me the ability to move my rook across to hit the bishop's head, but I didn't think that was going to work anyway. Yeah, what well, gave me pause here is the idea of they're playing the rook to the third file. But I don't think that's effectual either. Or effective. Um... Yes, I'm slowly making time to build my castle, but they might just move the rook up one to target this with a third piece, and then I'll be forced with a decision. I'll be forced to make a decision about what to do. Um, yeah, this is the other thing, is that they might indirectly defend this pawn. Um... Since they've castled and I've not. Well, uh, what to do now? Like my king is extremely prone, but um. Well, we're going to have some dreams and try to live them out right now. This is insane, but let's have some fun. If we get blown off the board in the opening, so be it. So my gold here is not exactly in the best position. Um, but the sacrifice allows, like, I'm intending silver takes, rook takes, bishop takes, bishop takes. And if he takes my silver here, I'm just assuming at some point I've got tactics like taking this lance or taking this lance or something happens. And or I have a bishop in hand, so, like, this is not terrible. Um, maybe it's not good, but I just think it's interesting. Uh, if silver takes, if silver takes, I don't know. Oh, okay, finally, we're going to see some de-escalation. Not really, but let's pretend. Um, so if I push the center pawn now... And they push on my bishop's head, and I push here, silver takes. I don't know, man. Sharp stuff. We're just going to play it and see where we end up. Not a good strategy for um, winning in, like, tournament situations, but this still looks... It has my curiosity. So, plus this will give me something to share at Shogi Sunday tomorrow morning. 
They'll be like, whoa, 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 what are you doing? Yes, this sort of thing. Um, but no, I'm seeing that, yeah, if they move this gold up, um, I could potentially take the silver and sack for the gold, and I don't know. They keep telling me to aim for the king, and I think I'm doing that, but um, it's kind of expensive to continue this policy. I think they might recommend that I castle next time before attacking. Um, yeah, I thought I had some clever idea here. I don't. This is not clever. There's nothing I can take here. Uh, so... That's unfortunate. If I drop back two... Hmm. And the rook moves over. Yeah, it doesn't quite cut it. So this pawn advancing on my bishop's head is what I'm concerned about, and I need to have some response to it. Uh, right now my response is that my bishop moves somewhere, and then this lets my rook swing over and start attacking. So, yeah, we're hard, hard committed to this attack on the bishop's head, even though the bishop's not going to be there very long. Um... So they hit my rook. Okay. Yeah, they have this too. Um, so my bishop drops back to make way for my rook. I don't see a problem with this. that in advance stops this pawn in advance from like winning the lance otherwise they'd win a tempo with this pawn move okay i missed that um silver takes silver takes rook over somehow they defend that i guess with the gold and they pawn drop I don't know. It's interesting. Oh, I can't pawn drop. Damn Nifu. Nifu ruins my attack. Okay. Uh, yeah, I guess that is very unfortunate. Hmm. That is most unfortunate, but I've blocked their bishop, so it's not all for naught. Um, yeah, I'm not sure where my pieces go next. Let's just continue trying to build a castle. <laughs> oh, this is so slow. All right, we built half Mino Castle. Everything's going according to plan. 
Oh, I should update my stream title to indicate that we're actually playing the teaching ladder game. There we go. Uh, let's see what now. Uh, this gold def does defend this point. Hmm. So they built Yagra. So that's going to be really hard for me to break. Um, this is less than ideal. But yeah, we're going to make room on our edge file in case this rook does break in and my king needs somewhere to run. It'll have one space to run to. Again, not ideal. I would like to have much more space to run, but beggars can't be choosers. Uh, okay, what now? I just don't know where to push uh, up the board next. I'm running out of spaces that I can push up. I guess we're going to push this fourth file pawn. The idea of bringing the bishop back out and trying to threaten something. Um... That's not how Yagra goes, usually. Okay, this is not the best place for my rook. It's not the worst place for it. I guess I just... No, it's actually a pretty terrible place because they can push this and then bishop takes this pawn. But this is the move I was trying to bait out of them. Um, so I got that move played. Which means I can follow the next move I had planned, but I don't know if it's any good. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff threatened in this position. They don't have a pawn in hand, but my rook is about to be sandwiched, so... <sighs> Priorities. Um, so now I'm trying to make room for my rook to cross the rank and exchange rooks. Who knows what I might have to sacrifice to make that happen. Um... But yeah, if a rook exchange happens, then maybe I'm okay. If not, maybe I'm just losing everything on this side of the board. So, stakes are kind of high. Yeah, I don't know about that. Not sure about this. Actually, yeah, there's a weakness. So let's hit the weakness. Oh, I can't read at all. Never mind. Um, even so, this might be the right move, but my goodness, that just cost me a piece. 
Yeah, I don't know. I thought the gold couldn't take back. Uh, instead, I've launched uh, this crazy aggressive attack that's cost me. But the silver wasn't doing very much here anyway. So maybe this does... This might be the right move in any event. Despite my absolute blindness, um, it might still be fine. So I was seeing two ideas. One, rook takes pawn here, trying to promote my rook and exchange rooks and such. Two, bishop 5-3. Um, so these were my two ideas that I was running with. And I'd like to get something exchanged so I can start attacking. Um, Not sure where this ends up. Screw it. We're just sacrificing everything left, right, and sideways. So that we can try to build some sort of an attack. This is, like, I've given up a whole bishop here. Just to get the right to exchange rooks and put my gold somewhere useless. Um... So I'm playing this absolutely crazy, insane attacking style. But um, it will at least result in rooks getting exchanged. And from there I can try to launch an attack, but I'm just down a bishop. It's not going to end well. Um... I don't know why I imagined that it might. Um, I guess it's because I have a good imagination. Healthy would not be the right way to describe this, but an active imagination. Um, so, hmm. so if I drop my silver here, I'm threatening silver takes gold. They could do gold takes and they could take my gold over here. And I don't have a check to follow that up. Therefore... Uh, it's best that I not, well, yeah, it's best that I not walk directly into that. But instead I protect my gold back here. Um, so I waste a move trying to save my pieces. Okay. They spend a move trying to win my pieces. Not a bad idea. Um, what can I do here? What can I do now that I've screwed things up? Is there any way back? I guess we start with the obvious, but this is not getting anywhere. This is offering an exchange, and really the only thing I gain from this... Well, I do get to take this pawn. Um, and the only thing I gain is the ability to start promoting my pawns. So, I did get a gold for a silver, but more importantly, nothing is impeding me from promoting now, other than just the passage of time. 
All right. Yep, they're going to win a piece. This is not ideal. Um, Hmm. I guess we'll line up with the king again. Although this time, <laughs> yeah, things are not looking so hot. Right, so I need to take this. I've given up two pieces for one which ordinarily and here is a very bad thing. Um, so we need to put a piece down to defend against mate threat stuff. And make some attempt to attack. Okay. Uh, yeah, that is very fast. I missed that. All right, let's go this way. Oh. Oh, wow, that's even faster than I thought. Okay. Yeah, no, that's just straight up checkmate unless I've missed something. Yeah, there's no resisting this. Well done. Good game. All right, so the idea behind these teaching ladders is that after each game, we have an analysis session to figure out what happened during the game. Um, yeah. Uh, so let's take this out of emotes only mode here, because the competition part is over. Uh, and I guess let's take a look through uh, from the beginning. Um. <laughs> yeah. Uh. I have to experiment to learn. Yeah. Uh. I have to take chances, but my goodness, this game I took some pretty severe chances. Um, so here I launched an attack, uh, this kind of thing. Uh, maybe I should defend somehow, I don't know. It's like... This idea on the left half of the board, every single game I panic about it. And so this time I said, you know what, screw it, let's just attack and see what happens. Oh, 5-6 pawn. Oh. Oh, interesting. Um, like here, perhaps? Uh. Uh, this is... Uh, well... I have not really considered this. I don't understand it. Um, yeah, maybe. I am in way over my head here. Oh, two moves later. Okay, thank you. Okay, so here? Uh, okay. Yeah, 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 so this could be interesting. I did spend some time looking at this and was still thoroughly confused. But there might be merit to... Th oh, yeah, this is kind of fun, actually. Yeah, I wondered, like, how this could just be an entirely one-sided affair. No, okay, apparently I do get some chances here. Yeah, of course. Uh, yeah, it's a complicated position. Well, so what I was concerned about was um, this, no? 
uh, maybe this is just not good for me. I don't know. Uh, gold 3, 4. Oh, 66. We'll eventually get to there, 66, but... Yeah, I think my whole end game was just in a really difficult position. Okay. Yeah, I guess you're right. At least there's something for me to play for here. So, yeah. Uh... Uh, not enough. So, the uh, game just ended kind of the way it did because I didn't spend enough time looking. Um, that's just super complicated. Yeah. Yeah. True. Uh, it might be effective uh, a little later, uh, too. Like, yes, so there might be several times I might have this idea. It might work. I don't have any. Like, this is why we experiment. My gold move was really heavy because then, like, I could never use the gold to join up with the king. But, yeah, I think... My whole attack was just uh, too ambitious. I don't know. I am curious what he thinks, but it's complicated. Because, yeah, here I just allowed that attack on the left uh, side of the board to break in. And it's kind of hard for me to do anything about it. So... Yeah, I think I still have to go back this way. To try to, like, not get smashed by the rook on the 8th file. Or 2nd file. Um, although I thought this was the game variation, so I'm not sure why we're playing it as a variation, but that's okay. Or I thought this is the way the game continued. Um. Oh. Yeah, you have me confused. Like, my king looks extremely unsafe in the center. But I guess there's something to play for. Um, hmm. Yeah, I guess I need to push that center pawn again. Wait, so this is the game move, and this is how this continued. Um, yeah, I don't know if I can still get away with this. Is this just terrible for me? I don't know. Ah. <sighs> This game was sharp.
I mean, I'm, I should probably just give him the study host status. I really don't know where we'd like to start analysis, because, like, my entire play through the game was just kind of whimsical. Just really curious about, if I play this, what's going to happen? And I didn't know where to start and stop experimenting. Um, so that's a thing. Usually when I'm playing this opening, I play a, a pretty defensively for a while, and then I just lash out in the worst possible position. Here, I showed some more restraint, but was thoroughly confused throughout the game. Um, so rather, here I showed no restraint whatsoever, and just kept exchange or trying to trade pieces and trying to attack. Um, there is, there's got to be a third path where I actually show restraint and account for stuff both players are trying to do. Yeah, so this concerned me, that this blocks his bishop temporarily, but also makes it impossible for me to break uh, his castle. Which maybe says that my bishop doesn't belong where I stuck it. Uh, seven, seven silver is better. Yeah. Yeah, seven, seven silver looks safe. It's very hard for me to find any good move here. Um... I'm not sure eventually what castle he's going to build, but given that I've built no castle, whatever he builds is uh, destined to be better than whatever I build, so that's where that ends up. Um, right. Oh, I actually do get the pawn back in hand. That's interesting. Huh. At least it looked safe a moment ago. Um, I guess appearances can be deceiving. Uh... Yeah, so this ability to just, like, throttle everything down the center file uh, willy-nilly is pretty insane. So, yeah, that's why instead of trying to stop me from winning the pawn, uh, he just continues with this rather principled attack that I can't do anything to stop. Um... Yeah, I didn't understand pawn 6-6 six, six here, but also my position's kind of desperate. <sighs> my rook move, just... it's a wasted move. Well, at least I didn't find a good follow-up. I would like to play rook takes pawn, but it's not possible. So... Yeah, this kind of sets up a threat to... But my threat didn't work. Uh, oh, I wonder. Huh. Um, maybe I had... No, that's not there. If bishop takes silver and rook over, he just blocks at the silver. Or blocks the bishop. Yeah, this is interesting. Um... So I was thinking you could block this somehow. Maybe I'm right. 
but it's not so easy. Hmm. Is this playable, perhaps? I'm not sure. Oh, wait, what? Well, huh. So yeah, this position... Evidently, I do get something out of this. I'm not even sure that this is good, but it's something anyway. Um... I mean, this looks exciting, but I don't see a way to continue the attack. Weird. I guess nothing covers 2-2, two, two, but still, like... Hmm. I don't know. Seem to have an advantage. Uh, 61 pawn 86. Yeah, so this is... Hmm. Yeah, this is, I guess, what I get for trying to build a castle while attacking. I never really... I keep alternating between choosing whether I'm attacking or defending. And, yeah, I don't really know. In the end, I kind of panicked and um, failed at both of those things. Yes, so he could have forced this earlier. Well, he could have forced me to take something. Um, and since, yeah, this... I don't see my attack being successful at all here. Yes, yes, since I did trap my silver, I am asking for it. I don't really have time to pull some kind of attacking nonsense here. Yeah, my attack is much, much, much too slow at this point. So, yeah, this just, like, completely stops it out. Which is to say that my rook move was wasteful, and like, so many things I did were wasteful. But that's what I get for having no idea what I'm doing. So I sacrifice all this material just to get the rook in hand, and then have no way to capitalize on it. Uh, and further, like, uh, this just welcomes a bishop fork, but, I mean, what can I do at this time? Um. Oh. Wait, does this do something? That's interesting. Yeah, at least it's complicated. I don't know that it actually, well... Yes, I control this 5-8 square. Um, hmm. So, yeah.
my position otherwise is just completely in ruin. This is my only attacking hope, is that one pawn. It might not work, but it needed to be tried. So, yeah, they're saying instead of this bishop take sack, was their gold 3 4? Um, on this move, okay, that's interesting. So, instead of that, I guess they're suggesting this. Yeah, well, right, yeah, they have this, yeah, you're right. It might still be best, like, the way this played out in the game was not very convincing. But yeah, Nifu certainly ruined some of my attacking ideas that I just couldn't double my pawns even with several ranks in between it's not legal so oh, yeah I had to do what I did but this is asking for trouble uh, instead we had this and this is just no good at all because this gold is well placed to stop me from dropping pawns um, yeah, I needed to prevent this gold. Well, if the gold move is unavoidable, I need to put the pawn down first and try to attack with the pawn. Actually, yeah, the pawn drop is very interesting. Because I promote, and nothing's guarding the square. Yeah, absolutely, this has to be tried. Pawn 5-7. And the idea is either promote or put a silver on 5-8. And regardless which way we go, um, it's the most active attacking prospect I have here. Um... I mean, my position might still suck, but this is at least some kind of complication. Oh, jeez, that is interesting too. Because that supports pushing the pawn. And the pin on this silver is actually useful. Yeah, no, I need to keep this gold away. This is this has to be the right move. With the intent to just pushing and dropping more pawns. There might actually be some things of value to play here. Wow. So I, having whiffed on that, there was nothing left at this point. Yeah, at this point, uh... There's just no coming back from this. And then, yeah, I missed the final Suma threats as well, but uh, I have been practicing Suma even a little bit on stream, but what can you do? Two Dons are strong, man. They know their stuff. 
Likewise, uh, thanks for the game. Yep, when he plays me, we're going to have exciting games. So, that one finished in record time. <laughs> That one finished in record time, and that was not an accident that it did, um, because we got Shogi Harbor tomorrow morning. So I was not very much in the mood for playing a long game. I was much more interested in things being decided one way or the other. So that was my temperament throughout this game. Um, so I played a lot of things I don't normally do. But, um, yeah, my opponent saw it a lot of things in our post-game analysis and quite a few of the ideas that I spotted during a post-game analysis didn't work. Um, it just shows like my opponent is more experienced than I am. That's fine. Well, yeah, my attack got stuck because I couldn't drop pawns. Like, I had pawns. That wasn't the problem. The problem was I couldn't drop them. So, like, something that I'd like to do, like this, I just can't do. Not legal. So, yeah. That's kind of the issue here. So, anyway. Um, yeah, we saw the post-game analysis. Uh, Freeze it had a very strong sense of what was going on. We have a game comment, so I need to go read it. Let's see what someone's saying. It's 24.56 possible. Yeah, yeah. Our Frieza pointed out this is kind of the critical moment. Maybe there were a couple critical moments, but definitely this was one of the ideas. Um, not here, but back... where was it? I forget exactly where. I think here. This is where he was talking about it. Um, so here, when I'm not hanging the bishop, I think is the correct time to consider this. And it's just super ultra mega complicated, so... Um, you might want to spend a little bit of time looking at that. Not too much, because whether or not I get the same position again, um, memorizing this particular position is not going to help me improve long term at the game. Um... It's not like a very common position. If it were something I could get all the time, that'd be a different matter, but um, it's probably best for my learning that I just try to focus elsewhere. But yeah, keep this in my back pocket. This is possible that I don't need to move this silver before the pawn structure is decided. Um, and that if I'm going to castle, uh, I should consider either playing the edge pawn early or not at all. So, interesting game. Well, with that said, I'm going to wrap this up here so we have time to watch um, Shogi Harbor tomorrow morning. So thanks for watching, and have a good night.